Hi, see what hey, chaps and chap, it's Game Chef and Bertie here. Yes. Yesterday was an A Dassy. We are now embarking on a Road to Glory quest in Super Smash Brothers for Wii U for Glory Mode using the Villager, another low tier character here, as you can see. Ah, oh, well, yes. Now, the Villager is classified by the community as a low tier character, so He's... we're going to give him a go see how he gets on. That's right. We've never actually used. I, I personally have never really used Villager online before in Super Smash Brothers on Wii U, so our first opponent here appears to be a Zelda. Now, one of the first things you can see and will notice shortly is that villager attacks have quite a bad range. I mean, they're very short range all of them, really, old boy. Yes, I was going to say that. Villager attacks short range. That's something to watch out for. And for all of you who are watching, we are actually online now. We're playing online, as you see it, with uh, against this character Zelda. That's right, indeed. As you can see here, we're taking a bit of a beating so far from uh, Zelda's attacks here. Now, are, Zelda, of course, excels as a defensive character. She has many moves she can use to her advantage in close range, and also some nasty teleportations which can catch you out. Now, I'm just trying to land one or two hits on Zelda here, but as you can see, she's very dodgy. Got a couple of hits there. Now, I will say about the Villager, his, uh, his dash attack is quite good, where he throws that uh, that plant pot at him, as it were. Oh, dear. oh my word, oh, nasty dear. one there. And of course, also, he has the Lloyd, uh, or Gyroid, to his advantage, as well as the tree. But uh, these are quite technical moves, and I, I believe quite situational in some cases, old chap. Well, they are, yes, indeed. As you can see, got the tree up there, but we've already been knocked out once there by Zelda. And Zelda just spamming uh, away with the attack, but it hasn't done her any good, and she's down, as you oh, can good. see. Oh, good, got one back. Yes, that's right. She was, of course, uh, stationary spamming the the, uh, the Din's Fire, I believe, there, tried to catch us out behind the tree, but it didn't work. Now, no, didn't. she's lined up a nice little combo there, but uh, I'm not sure what we can do here. Currently mm. at one all stock, so it seems, despite Villager's apparent weaknesses, we've managed to equalise, although it has to be said, Zelda herself is not that good. Well, most certainly, yes, indeed. But the Villager, as I said earlier, has been classified by the community as a lower tier character. So, let's see, we're putting him to test now, and at the moment, we can see, as we said, he has a very short range, and I can see in this game yes. that it's affecting him. There, indeed, is the up air from Zelda. Of course, Villager's aerial options seem to be somewhat limited against certain characters, perhaps getting out-prioritised. I do think perhaps he's better in the air than on the ground. I would, I will say that, but I'm not entirely sure. Of course, at this stage, very much just getting into the swing of things with the character, finding out his strengths and his weaknesses. Most certainly, we're giving him a try, so that one we lost, so let's go on and see who we get now. Yes, let's change to the Lady Villager, shall we, like so? Right, okay, and I, let's Villager. see if it's the same opponent or not, I'm not sure. But um, Yes, as you can see, just testing out her aerials here, she has various uh, aerials at her disposal, though they're not really, none of them are particularly good, I think, old boy. I do think she has a meteor smash, actually, in the, uh, the the down aerial. If three turnips appear, it may meteor, but it's quite hard, hard to land, I think, because it's random, you'll see. Well, yes, I can already see already, and for those of you who are watching, but surely you'll want to watch this and think, well, you know, can I use this character? Perhaps you already use this character, or if you're thinking of using it, well, should, this should give you a good idea of what's going on. Yes. I mean, certainly, we played, as you may recall, for those yesterday in the Road to Glory, Paddy Utina, and she was, I think, a lot better so far than Villager. Oh, my word! Oh, but uh, one thing has to be said, oh. there, Villager's recovery is actually quite good. Yes, the recovery seems to be not bad. Um, they seem... It looks like you need to use the special moves quite a lot with the Villager. I yes, I think so. Yes, I think you're right. Her regular attacks don't seem to be too strong, and, of course, a, a cripplingly short range on that smash attack of the bowling ball there. So short range. Also, the up smash has a deceptively short range, too. You think, of course, it has a nice uh, vertical hitbox, but actually it doesn't. It's quite limited. Well, most certainly. Now, I'm just thinking some of the characters in the, uh, the fighters here that carry swords, for example, and they yes. have a, a long-range hit with that That's sword. That's right, yes. The village is going to be in a lot of trouble with those, and I would imagine we'll have to use special moves to try to counter that problem. Yes, as you can see, Zelda here having a field day, just camping us on the ledge and using Din's fire to try and keep us away. My word, a couple of close shaves there, I think, and of course the trouble is with Villager, although he has a nice high recovery there, when he mm. falls down, he's helpless, you'll see. That, most that certainly. Another snag there. Zelda being, of course, a defensive character is making our already limited options even tougher to land. Oh my word, there he goes. As you can see, they're completely yeah. outranged by Zelda's smash attack. Our bowling ball only dropped in front of our face, but Zelda went all the way across the stage and hit us with that smash there. She did, yes. Once again, as you were saying there, amazing recovery from the video there. Yes, indeed, quite a good recovery options. Now, uh, yeah. Zelda now transitioning somewhat to a more aerial game, it seems, and uh, she's trying to keep clear of our attacks, although it's uh, it's quite hard to land them. It seems to... Oh, nice kick there from Zelda. Oh, yeah. It seems to me as if uh, the dash attack followed by up aerial is quite hard to land on Zelda here. Uh, yes, it does, most certainly. And there he goes again off the edge there. And yes. See, can he can recover from that? I yes, think he can. so. Yes, all right. Mm. We managed to get back there. Now, of course, one of my favourite tactics with uh, being a falcon main, there's a nice little smash, is, of course, to use the uh, the dash followed by the up aerial and also sometimes the running up smash. But neither of those seem to be very effective with the villagers. So I think a new strategy is called for here. I think it is, yes. We're taking a pretty good pasting here with the villager. The I moment. am, sadly, but I'll try and put it down. Don't worry. Yes, now, yes. of course, oh my word, a nasty hit. Another thing I just noticed there is one of the villagers' aerial attacks being, of course, the cat 
catapult only did 2% damage. Just 2%. That's all it managed. And there's the finisher. Oh, good. There she goes that, again. She's, she's mounting some stiff resistance, I have to say. I don't think this is a very favourable matchup for the villager at all. No, indeed. And since he's got to play against all sorts of characters, this doesn't look to be the strongest character in the bunch. And in, indeed, it seems the community's first uh, thoughts on this are correct. That's right, old boy. Now up against a black Yoshi. As you can see, Yoshi, of course, being a very high tier character and very. possibly one of the best in the game. So this will be an interesting matchup to see uh, where we go from here. I don't think that Virgil is a too much of a common sight online, so he may have to firstly adjust to our playing style. But uh, let's see where we go here. Hmm, it seems we're just having a bit of a better time uh, dealing with Yoshi up close there. Oh, yes, but, uh, yes, he may is. try to start putting range between us now, I think, old chap. Well, yes, maybe. Of course, it all depends as well on uh, the, the skill of the actual player yes. um, who's playing the character. Whoever's behind Yoshi at the moment, it could be a very, very good player or just an average player. That's right, yes. So we've got to take that into account. But what you said there was interesting that not a lot of people uh, actually see the villager online. He's not that common online, which no. means that he could present a problem for even skilled players with someone who knows how to use a villager. Yes, uh, I because they so. have, they're, not, they're not used to what he'll actually do. My opinion, old boy, we are looking here in the village at a very technical character that will take a lot of time in training mode against CPUs and online to find out exactly which moves of his are good. And yes. perhaps uh, some of the community may have already established for themselves which moves are good, but uh, yes. it seems, as you can see here, he seems to be doing not so bad against Yoshi at the moment, although perhaps that's because this particular Yoshi just hasn't seen a village before. Well, it could be that. And as you say, yes, some people may know some things about the village that we don't. If you're watching and you're a villager player, go ahead and put in the comments. Say, yes. well, I use a villager for this and this is what I do. You know, exactly. Help yes. out. That's right. Of course, a bit of a projectile war going on here. The uh, the pocket move, villager standard B, I just use that as you can see, although I'd question its usefulness, to be honest. I, I think it's quite situational. I'm not entirely sure just how powerful that is. Although, perhaps if you're fighting Samus, for example, you could use hers, uh, that, that, the pocket attack, rather, against her charge shot, which could be quite dangerous, I think. Well, but, possibly. Uh, Yoshi smashes again are much easier to land than ours. He has a superb aerial game, lagless aerials there. Yes. Very dangerous character indeed, and he's just starting to put the pressure on now, as you can see. Just missed the aerial, but once more, there we tried did. to smash him, but he outranged us, you'll see. Yes, he did, yes, one outrange there from yes. the, uh, the villager's little tiny, little tiny little range he's got. It's a Mind shame, you, really. Well, yes, it is, but we put some damage on Yoshi. I'm not sure the skill of this player playing Yoshi, how good he is. I don't but, know. You know, nevertheless, he's having a go, certainly. He's on 120%, and there's the finisher. We got, we got a fortunate hit there, I think. We did, I think, yes. Caught him on there. the end of the road. Yes. Rather handy. But, of course, now it seems to be the, the decider here. I wonder where this could go. It could certainly go either way, I think. Let's have a look. Yes, Yoshi there. Yes, we're off the edge there. He's keeping the pressure on. He's, he's, trying throw, to do. he's using the ranged eggs there. He, yes. The distance, trying to knock us off. Look at that. He's gone for a slight variation in tactics. Rather than getting up close in our face now, he seems to be using projectiles followed by quick dash attacks. Yes, he's it? completely changed. I think that, that last one we knocked him off with there, the smash there, has uh, shocked him a bit and he's changed his tactic. I think so, old boy. It's, yes, he's trying to roll out our way and generally keep away from the villager. And I, I think what was happening before, it seems when Yoshi's up in your face playing as the villager, you actually have the advantage, I think. Mm, yeah. Most certainly, of course, these uh, sort of eggs here he's throwing at them, and they don't do that much damage, so no, it's taking no. some time to keep this strategy up, I think. But he's certainly, as you can see, staying well critters there, trying to catch us with ground pounds and aerials to, to go for a finisher there. Yes. Indeed, he seems to have adapted his playstyle accordingly, and I think, to be honest, if you're playing against Yoshi, the way to go seems to be to get them up close. Yes, most certainly, yes. Now, uh, and there, once more, is the outranged smash, and that's the end of the game. There you go, Villager. Outranged, continually. You, indeed, we have, uh, have a serious problem here, where Villager smashes have been continuously outranged by a Opponents. That is very, very dangerous, you know. It most certainly is, and the folks have all seen that happening. Now, let's see how we get on now. And well, I, I dare say, why we need to teach this chap a lesson. We can't just lose like that all the time. We'll throw in a quick Gandalf round and see if we can jolly teach him a lesson or two. Okay, let, yes, that's a good let's idea. Let's school him, old chap. Yes, let's throw that in. Let's get Gandalf in here now. We don't um, mind Gandalf. We'll just let them know that, uh, you know, we're testing something at the moment, so don't get cocky. That's right. Well said, old chap. Or perhaps, well, we hope we will. Let's we hope we happens. will. You never know. Let's have a go anyway. Gandalf, of course, is another low tier character, but I've been playing him for quite a while, he's, he's shockingly powerful, I mean he hits like a bag of hammers as I said uh, the other day, and yes. of course he's quite technical once again, many people again don't really know how to fight him, but uh, it seems in this case Yoshi's actually changed to a white Marth. Oh interesting, so you, is he the same player is it? It's the same player, he's changed, changed his tactics to Marth as you can see, perhaps ah. hoping to counter us up close, but actually we may have caught him off guard here by changing we, the Gandalf. Well, yes. Oh, a nasty counter oh, from nasty. Marth there! My goodness that me. was vicious old chap! Oh, uh, well he's showing us now! Yeah, well Let's we'll see have to we see, do. we're down one stock already, this will be tough to pull around old. Most certainly. 
We'll do our best, so let's see where we go from here. Now, of course, just trying to land some smashes with Gandalf here. The key with Gandalf, as we said a while ago, is to be ever so patient. Don't yes. get too bold, don't get too aggressive, unless you're playing certain characters. You have to wait for your opportunity and kill them when you can. Most certainly, so he's keeping us off the edge there quite a few times, and then he goes again. Indeed, uh, but he's just made a mistake. Oh, ah, so close on that smash that close, attack. That so yes, close. Yes. So, let's see where we can go from here. Um, no, he is no. playing very crafty, old chap. He he's is. learned from the villager, you'll see. He and has. he is keeping back and using lots of shield drills. So he's going to be quite tough to finish, I think. But uh, there's a dash attack, and can we finish it with the aerial? Yes, can we, we can. It? Yes, we can. Ha. Good, so good. one all at the moment. One all, but we are on 56%, and now 70%. Oh, my word, oh, we're on the ropes here, old boy. Oh, no, we have to pull this one around and see what we we'll can do. We'll have to pull this around if we can. Chat. We could go for Gallon's side, perhaps. Oh, uh, we could try. Yes, yes we could try. Will he walk into it? That's the thing. That's the question. He's keeping the pressure right on a 103%, but Gandalf, he doesn't die that early, you'll see, unless yeah, yeah. he gets gimped, I say, but uh, he goes for a counter there. He's expecting a smash, but we're not giving him a smash, as no, you can see. Back there. Ooh, there we go. There's the choke, but we can't land the down aerial, uh, yeah, the, down, no. the down tip, rather. Um, back in there again. Oh, my word, no, oh, this, this is a tough customer. Ooh, this is a tough customer, no doubt about it. Oh, he blocks, oh, he had a chance to finish us there, but he didn't, didn't do it, old boy. No, he didn't, no, no. He didn't go for it. He's so. very, very cautious, and that caution could be the ruin of him. Let's I, have a look. I don't know. Oh, just missed the up tilt there, but indeed, this is getting close, old boy. I it think we're going to see a kill very soon, old chap. Ooh, Either last. way, one's going to go down, and um, there we are. Uh, oh, there's oh, a smash what? attack! Yes, indeed. Yes, he's taken out. That's it, old boy. Gandalf takes the girl that time. That was close. That was a close one, because that early counter, you'll see, very dangerous. Well, very dangerous. certainly, yes, a, a good player there, but, uh, you know, we, have, we bettered him that time. That time, old boy, indeed. But there we go, Vales. Let's get back to the villagers, shall we? Okay, see well, where else we go from here. Village, yes. So, I wonder who's up next. It appears to be another Marth, this time on Windy Hill, as you can see. Now, uh, again, we learned from an earlier match against a different fellow, because uh, this is a different chap now, you'll see. Yes. Uh, we learned from an earlier match. Uh, oh, Marth! He, he's Marth? gone down! Oh, he threw himself off the edge oh, for some reason. Well, that's unusual. Oh, well, then. Mind. Mm, he will. Anyway, let's move on, Vales. And uh, we learned earlier the the, uh, the ability of staying in close with the villager, but I think we're going to have a snag with Marth because, of course, he has a very good range on his sword, and That's his tipper saying. is very deadly. If you get caught by his tipper attack, it's all over. Well, so, certainly, I was saying that earlier. He's got a, you know the sword holders like Marth. Good, good range on swords, and that's a problem for the villager. It is, his old boy. His little fat arms. His little fat stubby arms. He's mm. using his counter quite well there. He did take a risk that time. He seems quite risk happy this particular one. But yes, uh, he does. Yes. Let's see. Oh, he's going for those down aerials. Yes, indeed. This chap's going for a kill. I must say. Most certainly. And um, indeed, let's see how we go. be very careful because you know what you want to do. Yes, let's try the burning wall. Oh, just miss it there. Just on that it one. seems if you dig them into the ground with the down smash of the ledger, you can then follow up sometimes with the burning ball, but not always. And that burning ball has terrible range. I keep saying it, but it bears repeating it. It is really bad. Well, most certainly, uh, uh, once again. Oh, he's got oh. our shield with a side attack. Oh, what? no. No, no, no. Oh, well, there we are. Oh, well, never mind. Yes, it was a good move by him there. It was a good move, yes, it was yes. a good move. So, as we said earlier, as you said, this is the first time we've actually played the villager. That's right, yes, uh, yes. Really seriously at all. Uh, never mind about online. So, we've really jumped in at the deep end here. And so, you can all see the results now. Yes. Um, what's actually happening. And you can probably already work out for yourself what's going on with the villager here. That's right, a solid smash on Marth there. Now, as you can see, that nice. particular move there is, of course, a down B tree move. And Marth is on the ropes now, but you yes, should not get overconfident because villager can be a bit tricky sometimes. Yes, There's another tree again. smash, as you can see. And can see. he recover? Yes, he can. He's gone for the recovery there. Let's see if we can't finish him. I and don't he's know. Off the edge as well. Look at this. He's using the ails. He picked up our piece of downed tree wood, as you can see, and yes. chucked it as there, but they're rather clever. He's going for the counter now, expecting us to use a finishing move. Yes, yes, most certainly. Oh, my word! Oh, it's a tipper! Oh, that's what you have to be careful of with Marth! My, my oh. word, there we go! He the changed tipper. it over! Yes, indeed. It's a tipper attack. That's so dangerous. It can kill as low as 50%. It really ah. is devastating. Right, okay. Perhaps so. a bit of a lucky hit there, I think, old boy. Well, maybe, yes. It could have, been, could have been some spamming. Could have been planned. We don't know. We don't know, but in any case, our next appearance now, for Lils, as you can see, is Diddy Kong. Now, again, we don't yet know the skill of this player, but it has to be said, Diddy's actually quite good in this game, I think. Oh, uh, yes, I haven't seen too much of Diddy actually playing, as a matter of fact, so... Uh, no, I mean, I, I can't really comment too much on Diddy. I, I do know he has one less banana than Brawl. He can only have one banana out at a given time now. But right. once again, just staying in his face here and keeping, to, keeping the opponent going seems to be working quite well. Well, yes, yes, I'm seeing Diddy. He's got some range there with this roll he's using. For start. Yes, he's cartwheel, that. that's right. And once again, we're outranged with that. Oh, um, yes. And he's knocking us, yes, yes, and at the moment I think he's struggling around a bit, doesn't really know what to do. Indeed, he appears to once again, though, as, as with the Yoshi from before, he is uh, standing back there and using dash attacks and fast paced moves to close the distance. So, mm. it does seem Villager has quite an advantage up close, but uh, really his short range does force you to approach, I think, unless you're going to use... Oh, nasty smash off the ledge there! No, no, no! Yes, there we go again! You see there it? we go, that's right. Villager is so light, he's just, it's hard to land consistent hits with him, it seems. It is,
and blows, etc., aren't that strong. Not That's that right. Yes. So as I said earlier, I think we do need, or you do need, certainly out there, need to rely on special moves with this little chap. Indeed, perhaps setting up traps with a down B or using the side B Lloyd attack, etc., and so forth. These are things we can factor in soon, I'm sure. There's a dash yes. attack. Now, I do say again, his dash attack does have potential because it has a very long hitbox. The initial hit, and then of course the shattering of the of the flower pot. Oh my yes, word! Well, close one. Yes, um, well, let's see if we can water our plant, shall we? Oh no, he's coming close to us. I say he's gone for that. So it seems that so Diddy is using all his projectile attacks against us, his bananas, etc., and so forth, yes. and his special moves. Now, perhaps that's something we're not doing. I mean, maybe we need to start focusing on those ranged attacks of the villager, like the, uh, the, the Lloyd, for example, the gyro rocket. Well, this is what I've been saying all along. Yes, we'll have to start doing this now, I think, because this is obviously the way he plays, or must be. Yes. Uh, perhaps if there are any skilled or, you know, expert villager players out there, they'll most likely be using this method. We can quickly, quickly see that this is not working, just punch, 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 punch. His, his range is just too short. That's right, of course, the, the down smash to side smash combo appears to work as you can see there but uh, the thing with villager's projectile that I have found is it has quite a long start up time and that's the only snack you can't use it like Pelotina's auto reticle you see. I see yes indeed yes. So, so let's see what we can do. Yes there's an up here off the ledge rather handy and that seems to be quite a good idea I think if people yes. are edge guarding you so oh, yeah. there we are an umbrella swing takes out his monkey grab and there's that the up smash. Ah good. Yeah. Right, right okay is that but all on this one? I'm not that's sure. one all but we oh, are very right. much down at 98% now so Diddy has the, the ability to yes. kill us if he wants to. Yes he's got a big advantage on us at the moment, yes, that's for sure. I think he's going to try and like, land a side smash, old boy. That appears to be Diddy's primary killing move, but yes. we'll have to see if we can deny him that or not. Let's see, well, what's the aerials like for uh, the villager? Well, I, again, I, I do think uh, the villager has quite a strong aerial game, but uh, it seems to me as if he's getting out prioritized at the moment by Diddy in the air there. So we're just going to. Oh my word, that was close one! Oh, we go for the ball so there. close. Yes, okay, and uh, as you say, yes, perhaps a focus to aerial play may be wise, because it seems to me his, uh, his short, stubby arms just don't favor ground pace play. Unlike, no, of course, no. Little Mac, who is very much a ground fighter, the villager may be the opposite of Little Mac, Little Mac for example. Yes, it looks like that, that is the case. Yes, indeed. Yes, he's not sort of cut out for that sort of thing. And we're on 144 now. 144%. Boy, boy, we're, still in. we're certainly surviving, as well, you can see. We are, see. yes. Using villager, villager's recovery, of course. Amazing but, uh, to pull this one around. An offhand smash will finish us, I will say that. So, uh, yes, I know, yes. any lucky hit could finish the day now. So, let's see where we go. And, uh, oh, oh, my word, there's a dash attack. No, right. Oh, no, no. Okay. It seems villager does have the ability to soak up the damage and, oh, there we go. Yes, he got it. But not the smash attacks. He can't soak those up. Well, no, no. he didn't. No, 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 he can't, no. But indeed, if you are playing as villager fellows, it seems if you keep uh, rolling out the way and trying to dodge the enemy and using his recovery, you can actually live for quite a long time despite his light weight. Well, most certainly. So we're getting sort of um, iffy sort of, yeah, hmm, sort of results with the villager at the moment. And that's right. Now, we're not course, that impressed at the moment, are we? No, not really so far. No. I mean, Palutine is showing a lot more promise, I think, than villager, but perhaps it's just my playing style, old boy. I don't know. But this next opponent, as you can see, is a peach, and I think we'll start to try some different tactics against her. Let's right. throw in some throws, some projectile attacks, etc., and so forth, and see where we go. Right, okay, yes, yes. In other words, yes, those special things we haven't been using just apart from just punch, 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 and kick, kick, kick. Exactly. Let's see what we can get on with. As here. opposed to getting in their face and just punching them, let's try some different tactics. Now, yes, uh, yes. Peach, of course, benefits from a rather decent projectile, and she can also float in the, float in the air, rather, to mess up your day, as this chap seems to be f uh, fond of doing. But uh, let's use our aerials, projectiles, and other attacks on this lady here, and see what we can do. So, um, Well, one thing I can see, this cannonball thing is rather slow in its delivery. It is, oh boy, but it, it, it can land, an, uh, as you can see, a glancing blow. They're not too bad, but yes. um, let's keep the aerial attacks going, and perhaps, I think, oh, no, no, she, you see she's coming in close there. She is, yes, getting in close... Uh, seen your ideas, I think, and is trying to counter them. I think so, Elby. Certainly, I think Peach may have an advantage up close. It's hard to say at this point, and uh, oh my word, no, she's gone. She's gone in the ledge quite well. One thing I can see, if you do get in an off-edge situation, his balloons are very good. Oh, ah, yes! There we are! Oh, yes, it's the not side, The down smash and the side smash is, is a workable combo if they don't escape first, it seems. Most certainly. So there we are, and he's coming. Yes, yeah, so the cannonball you can land. Now, what about the other items he's got? What, oh, he's got the net, of course. He has the net. Now, I, I have been, I must say, staying off of the net up until this point because it's quite a slow throw. It's a slow start up and a reasonably slow pull down if you miss, mm. but it dis does indeed seem to have some decent power, so well, perhaps I should start to use it more, Elboy. Well, well, why don't you try? Indeed. Uh, oh, Peach's golf club attack off the side there. Very it's nasty. before you're hit with the golf club. Indeed, Elboy. There's the up here off the ledge, but not that time. Right. Okay. Uh, now she's gone for a dash, and her killer is, of course, the crown. There's the crown. Nasty. Ah. 
Right. Very nice, dear. We've, so he, we've got to pull this round. We can't lose any more, I say. Well, no, we can't now. We've got to do something. We've, we can get the items out of the bag and begin to hit them with them for goodness well, sake. Well, all right. It's time to break out desperate measures. There's the bowling ball. Oh, well, the bowling ball. Good. Oh, there's the return for her. The return fire. That's right. right. Okay, so that's one order. That's the equaliser, so not so bad. But we right. still have to defeat Peach after this percentage lead she's got. Right. And he's okay. up tilt quite good there, I think. Hmm. Quite good, yes, yes. Perhaps useful for, useful for chaining into an up aerial combo. I'm not sure. There's oh, there's a the net. Oh, I say. Net to no. up smash seems to work. Okay. Not bad. That looks worse, isn't it? That's yeah, not too bad, so we've equalised the percentage quite well there, but uh, right. let's see where we go from here. Down, yes, his tilts. Ah, that's it. I think I'm getting in the swing of these combos now, old boy. Ah, right, okay, so that net to up smash combo is not bad. We'll try it again. It seems to me his throws do have good potential for setting up for smashes and follow-ups. That's right, so... Uh, no, certainly, yes. Perhaps he does have use, but I think the key with Verger appears to be, from what I'm seeing here, to keep moving and always stay in their face. Don't let them put range between you. Indeed, yes, yes, that, that will certainly be the case, because as we can see here, once he's at a distance, he's basically helpless. Yes, Apart now from a couple of little extras he can do like that. Just trying his Lloyd, that is putting actually a decent amount of pressure on Peach, as you can see there. Is, as yes. soon as your Lloyd disappears, you can actually spam another one straight on top of it. Rather handy, you see. Yes, indeed. I've seen hmm. that one um, just offline. He's playing offline that uh, special Lloyd he's got there. Yes. And of course, it's jolly, jolly nuisance, and it gets in the way. If you don't know how to counter it, you can be off the edge and you've had it. This Peach is so close to a finish. Can we seal this for the villager? There's jolly. the up air to finish her off. Screen KO. One for the villager. One for the villager. Yes, got one. <laughs> At last, I say we managed no, to win. Goodness okay. me, he's so happy now, there he is. He's a happy little man. So well, for we managed to take a stop or a game with the villager, as you can see. Up until this point, I think I very much am getting into the swing of how he works, warming up, trying his different moves. Uh, he's a very technical character, hard to use and hard to master, I think. Well, he is, so we've been proving our talking as we've been doing the walking there. Yeah. And actually, okay, stop using the short-range attacks and things like that, brought some items out of the bag, and yes. all of a sudden we've got to win. So That's there right. we are. So there's a strategy that the, we will need to use with the villager. That's right. Now, I do believe his catapult attack, although quite handy for hitting them, is not actually that powerful. So you're really going to have to, as Birdie says, rely on his throws, his special moves, and staying in their face. It seems there's a tree. tree. There's a tree, and oh, a hit! 30% yes. so far. Yes. That tree is strong. Long yes. setup time, but it is rather good, and yeah, it also sometimes leaves a wood chopping on the ground. Now, ah. she's really struggling with these, struggling with these the... gyroid spam, as you can see, really yes. struggling with that. I've got a small projectile there, but um, you missed that one. But uh, sometimes, of course, what you can do if you'll see the opportunity is grab their projectiles using the pocket move. But we haven't really had too many chances to do that so far. No, sir. Let's give her a bit of the old tree there, as you can see. Yes, got the axe. Good hit. It seems to me his axe is also quite strong, as the tip said back there. Yes. But uh, you can only, of course, use that once you've made the tree. Oh, yes, no. Oh, steady. She escapes our grasp that time. She did that time, yes. Now, certainly that tree is quite off-putting. They don't know Oh, she's do. walked into the oh, burning ball. Look at that. Well, I say, Fennels, yeah, well, okay. that's a situational smash, but a powerful finisher if you can land it. Right, it most certainly is, yes, there's, there's no doubt about it. I was just saying about the tree there, once yes. it's planted, they don't know what to do, they don't know to go near it, stay away from it, or what, it's quite, you know, it puts them off, which is good. It's a, it yes, certainly is throwing them off, old boy, because it's like a ticking time bomb, although, of course, it does actually not last too long. You have to use it fast, otherwise it wilts away. Most but, certainly, uh, yes. Villager's aerial game somewhat shining there, and, of course, a move I haven't really been using is his standard aerial, so perhaps put that into, into use shortly and see how that works. But, uh, again, he's, there, there it is, I say, as you yes. See, yes, yes, that's working nicely. Yes, oh, nice. Yes. That's, yes, good, nice good attack there good. from the villager. Very good. Okay, so as we uh, suggested before, it does indeed seem his strengths lie in the... Oh, yes. oh, oh so close. So oh, close. Very close. The now. aerial game is, of course, where the villager shines, it seems. It's uh, certainly, yes. Uh, oh, oh, the oh, crown. One, one nasty well. hit. Both of us could go down at this point, although we are, of course, one stock up, so we're not too bothered if we do get knocked out. But, uh, uh, let's see. There's a smash attack, but uh, no so short range on those. You're going to have to use there's other attacks to win the day, it seems. That's it. Oh, yes, most certainly. Yes. Let's try for the tree. We're going to the tree, and she's come over the top. She's no. Over the top this no. Time. And she's not going near that. No, she's staying no, no, well, she's well, clear. well off the tree, yes. Yes, she's learned her lesson with that one. There's a dash attack from Peach. Quite a lot of knockback. And oh, oh no, I thought no, that was no. coming out by the crown finisher. Very nice there from it's Peach. A, it's a one all. It's one all, but of course. This is she, a close game. She's just asking for a finisher at this point, old boy. We'll have to see where we go oh, from yes, here. Yes, it is, yes. 127%, and of course, Peach being a light character like us, she could be finished by one strong oh, hit. Yes. The thing is, Virgil really lacks strong hits, old boy. I mean, he all he's got, he's got his tree, which is hard to set up. He has his smashes, which have short range, so his killing power is somewhat limited. It most certainly is, yes, indeed. I didn't realise how, how high she was up on there. It's, it's not as close as I thought. No, She's no. in problems now, but from, from the villager, and that's a marvellous thing. That's good, old boy. Yes, yes, it is, yes. Are we going to get our second win of the day? I hope well, so. Well, let's <laughs> see. Well, surely we are. 31 3 2. Mind you, Marth got us earlier at low percent, so I don't know, old boy. We'll have to stay this one nice and safe. Oh, there. fireworks the wrong way that time. Yeah, here's a plan. There There's a plant. There's no, she doesn't There's want to know this. <laughs> okay. No, it seems she really is playing it safe. She doesn't want to lose, so she's trying to avoid, but it's no good. There's ah! the up smash
Well, for else, what can I say? The villager has proven at last he can gain some glory, but if you want to win with this character, you'll have to be smart. Yes, you've been very, very careful, so there's some good stuff for you there. Now, if you've got any characters you'd like us to try out, why don't you put them in the comments and we'll see if we will. And of course, in keeping with Rich Nobi, it wouldn't be complete if we didn't finish it off with Captain Falcon. Ah, oh, Captain Falcon, right, okay. We've got so, to show this, this peach what we're made of you now. Right, okay, so Captain Falcon, of course, is your player. He's my main, that's fine. Right. Your main player, that you play a lot. So let's see how Captain Falcon gets on now. We're going for flashy, we're going for knees and punches, all that sort of thing, old boy. Yes, so let's okay, see if we can land those. But uh, of course, Peach is used to us playing as a verger, so we'll have to see how she reacts to Falcon's different playing style. She may know the Falcon matchup like the back of her hand, old well, boy. Well, she might do, let's see. We'll never know. I don't know. So, uh, no, it seems indeed her attacks are fading so far, and Falcon's strong jab up close, really taking advantage of her weak position, as you can see. Oh, it looks like she's. There's the up, and there's the first My knee word. off the up aerial, but she's come back, old boy. She's come back, but yes, I know. But doesn't she know you can't argue with the knee of justice, old boy? No, 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 she just, she just didn't score anything, it was just zero there. Zero to death there, with the two knees of justice, not just one, but two, I say. Okay, so we've just seen the difference in the characters there. Yes. Of course, you know this character, but yes. um, yeah, she's really having some trouble now after the villager. That's right, of course, she's completely been caught off guard by this change of playstyle, and it really does matter very much how well you know the character. And of course, well, if so, you know a character, you can use that to your advantage to get nice wins. But, yes, uh, you can, yeah. Let's just throw a couple of punches into the old mind games there. Ooh. Captain Falcon's punch is so delightful like that, yes. old chap. But uh, no, indeed, she doesn't really know what to do, old boy. I mean, no. she seems to be like a, like a deer in the headlights no, you, here. You, you can see now, everyone can probably see she's floundering now, not she sure what to do. What's happened to the villager? Um, I was used to him, now he's gone suddenly, we've got Falcon here, I'm getting kicked. That's um, right. So what am I going to do? Yes, yeah, she's got a nice little throw, and a, a throw to a uh, side and aerial, as you can see, quite good there, but the, the old Falcon down tilt goes for the knee, but not quite. Nearly, very close. Can we finish this girl off in time for tea, I say? Let's well, have a let's look. let's have come. a look. And the punch, oh, she does it oh, somehow. How did she dodge that punch, old chap? That was close. My word, we're going to have to learn that one, I think, old boy. Well, I think so, yes. Let's play it safe and not be too silly. She counted our falcon kick with a standard jab, actually, there. Yeah, She's going for the turn. Let's see if we can get her off stage with a nice right. little attack. There's one, and we're going to uh, have a look here with some up aerials. She's Ooh. going for a recovery, and falcon punch! Oh, yes, I'm worried, I say. Done. There you go, yes. Benils. The moves have been shown. They have been shown, so there we are. The My Captain word. Falcon shows us how it's done. Indeed, do let us know, Fennels, which character you'd like to see next, I say. Well, yes, let us know in those comments and things, and, and have a go with the villager in the meantime. We look forward to seeing you next time, I say, Fennels. Oh, yes.